Hi, Thor Holt here with Aberdeen Business News and my energy connection interview today is Andy Grieve of Hamco. Have I pronounced that right, Andy? Yes, that's correct. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you, Thor. Thanks for inviting me here to your home. An amazing place. And I'd just like to hear a little bit about the story of Hamco. So I have to admit, I hadn't heard of your company before, but you've been highly recommended to me as someone from the Aberdeen area who's moved overseas and done really well. Let me tell me a bit of the story of the company. The company was uh, 25 years ago and uh, I, uh, I took it over in 1997. Uh, we moved here in 2005 uh, to merge my business with another company, but that was a complete disaster. And we... Uh, it sounds like a good story. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, uh, we it, the, the merger was a failure. And uh, so we just went back independent. But by that time, we decided that we liked Houston. Mm -hmm. We liked the quality of life. We liked the, the business regime. Mm -hmm. And we decided to make a go of it and stay here and, and, and concentrate the center of gravity of our business in Houston. And uh, we've, uh, we've changed direction a little bit since that started. Uh, we were originally consulting engineers, but now we're building equipment for ourselves. And uh, we're using this as our international base and just about to expand and start manufacturing ourselves here in Houston. Mm -hmm. Great. So you're from the Aberdeen area? Aberdeen, right? yes. I mm -hmm. spent my first uh, five years after graduating offshore. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked with drawing contractors and then went independent in 1995. So do you have any contact with Aberdeen now? Is any of your business yes. in Aberdeen? Oh yes, we still have our office. We have an office in Aberdeen. We mm -hmm. have an office down in Yorkshire. And in Yorkshire we do our, all our engineering design. Mm -hmm. So we're still very strong. We're still a Swedish company. Mm -hmm. And the, the US, the Houston business, is a subsidiary of the, of the UK company. Uh, we also have our office in Singapore. Mm -hmm. So we're currently manufacturing equipment in Singapore, Cape Town, South Africa, mm -hmm. and UK and of course over here. Great. And what's your perspective on the difference between, for yourself, doing business out of Aberdeen as opposed to doing business out of Houston? You mentioned the quality of life, but is it, and you also I think you mentioned the kind of the business friendly regime here. What's your feeling on doing business out of Aberdeen? I would, I would say it's tough. I would say it's, it's a lot more complicated doing business here. Um, the tax system for a start, mm -hmm. is, tax is higher. It's a lot more complicated. There's a lot more of it. And probably if I'd known how hard it was going to be to set up here uh -huh. and trade, I may never have started. Mm -hmm. Visas, immigration, it's a big issue. But I'm glad that we did go through the pain of setting the business up mm -hmm. uh, because it's starting to, starting to come to fruit now. That's a really interesting perspective. I've like, not heard that before, so that's pretty fascinating to hear that. It is hard, like I said, it is. And, and, and you can't, you realise it, you can't move over here unless you're fully committed mm -hmm. and willing to invest the time and the money to make it work. You can't do it by remote control. Mm -hmm. It's not one of these where you can fly in for a couple of weeks, do a bit of business, go back out again, and hope that it's gonna generate income. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that. You need to be here, you need to be working with them, you need to be able to jump and move at short notice to mm -hmm. see your customers. Okay, and this is kind of a topical question, I'm sure you've touched on this as well, had this happen. Uh, getting hold of good people, how do you, attract and then keep a hold of good stuff. Is that an issue for you guys? Yeah, it's a major issue for the whole industry. There is a real uh, problem when it comes to finding experienced people. The, 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 the market we're in is, is upstream, it's exploration, it's drilling. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of new drilling units being built and coming into the, coming into the operating environment. But finding people with the experience is hard. But secondly, the equipment's becoming so more technologically advanced that the people you do have have got to go up a steep learning curve. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it's a big issue in the business. It's a big problem, and it, it's causing problems, unfortunately. So it's, we're no worse than anyone else. Um, our business is very custom, uh, custom design, uh, and so we, we maybe have a higher problem or a more, difficult, more, more of a problem than many in getting people. But um, you know we, we rely a lot on our people back in the UK mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and doing the design by remote control. And so we're slowly getting a good network of suppliers here, but it hasn't been easy. Okay. Great. It's good to hear a different perspective and to hear 
although you're really positive about doing business here, to hear something about the challenges as well, because that's, like I say, that's an unusual perspective, and I'm glad to hear it from you. It is, it, it, it is hard, and you, you, you would underestimate, as I said, the tax regime is, is, is more complicated. And, uh, but the, one of the biggest challenges that UK companies face is the immigration, mm -hmm. and, and think of the moving people over, it, it just doesn't happen like that. Uh, you know, it can take you a year to get a uh, to get a visa in some yeah. cases for some people. So, I would I would coach people by saying, don't expect things to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. it can take a while. Th certain other things happen very quickly. Uh, quickly here, you, I mean, it's very dynamic. It's very fast moving. The people make a decision. It happens quickly. Mm -hmm. But you know, there are there are um, challenges, rules, regulations, complications, yeah. and uh, and that's uh, that I suppose that's made it fun. Good. Great to meet you, Andy. Thanks for being my energy connection today. Hopefully see you back in Aberdeenshire at some point over the next couple of years. Will be. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Thank you.